So let's go drive over and take you through Dover Shores and tell you all about that. Right now we're actually in Dover Shores proper. So there is an HOA in Dover Shores and it accesses you to the private beaches in Dover Shores and most all of the streets in Dover Shores proper are bayfront. So it's nice because you get a lot of square footage you have a bayfront home. The prices are not as expensive as other parts of the bay just because you're a little bit further back in the bay. But the properties are terrific. Most people call this whole area Dover Shores, but really it is just the part with the HOA for the boats. As it's kind of Newport Heights adjacent because you have sidewalks because remember Newport Heights doesn't have sidewalks. It's very kid friendly. There's a lot of interior streets. We always joke that you can tell how many kids live here from the amount of basketball hoops on the street. And this is another area that we do a ton of business with. You're not as, I would say, beach close. You're a little bit further as far as bike ride to the beach, but it's just really a terrific area as far as kids and walkability. We're on Santiago Drive right now, and Santiago is actually a cool street when we have the OC Marathon because all my clients and friends that live here, they'll throw marathon parties because they shut down Santiago and all the marathon runners come down this street and everybody cheers and holds signs and you can have a Bloody Mary, and so it's kind of cool. So let's go check out some of the houses we've sold before. So this one on Hampshire is kind of a feather in our team's cap, me and Jen, because when COVID first happened and we thought the world was coming to an end, we closed this the first two weeks of COVID. And our clients, it's their dream house. And you just think of what it took, you know, to get this house done. And it just makes me happy every time I drive by. I'd say the only negative about living in this area is that you are underneath the flight path. So you do have some plane noise of planes flying over, but most anyone that lives here would say you don't even realize it anymore. You kind of get immune to it. And they actually don't fly over the community from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So it's just more in the day. All the architecture, so many of these houses have been redone. So here we are on holiday. These lots all start probably 8,000 and Gosh, the, the property I showed you on Hampshire, that was almost a 13,000 square foot lot. So they're really quite large. Here we are on Windward. Our team sold a tear down here a few years ago and it's finally being built. We represented the seller. And then right across from that is a home tour house we sold a couple years ago too. Perfect example of a Dover Shores beauty. I'll drive you by another one of my favorites on Leeward, pretty unique situation. Sometimes it's just meant to be. That buyer had mentioned to me, hey, we always loved this one house. It was our dream, you know, but we knew it's, we know it's sold. And I said, that actually never sold. So I reached out to those sellers and it was just one of those perfect timing things where the sellers had never sold and the buyers were in the right position. And since then, they did a huge remodel but oh, I love this family, I love this house, great design. I just love the charm of each unique neighborhood. And I think just the stories that you can drive around each neighborhood and say, you know, I, I put that seller together, I put that buyer together and they're creating memories. I think that's such a great feeling to just know that people are creating their memories. And then just as I raise my own family here in Newport, it's incredible. It's just incredible, I think, the pride of ownership and the pride we take in our city. And again, through COVID, having so many people move here from other areas, you know, we get to kind of show that off and say, yeah, we told you so. Orange County and especially Newport are pretty great places to live.